There was a huge demand among the players who are active in the insolvency and bankruptcy space to bring about changes in the tax sphere in order to bring them in line with the requirements of business. Because there are several unintended consequences of income tax and other tax laws on the insolvency and bankruptcy process. And the budget of this year addresses some of these concerns in a very right manner. The first important change that has been proposed in the budget of this year is in respect of carry forward of losses. Now currently in the income tax law, if there's a company which is closely held in which public are not substantially interested, you cannot carry forward the losses of a company if there is a change of ownership of more than 50%. The budget of this year addresses that concern and it says that such companies, wherever a bankruptcy and insolvency proceedings have been admitted, they will have the ability of carrying forward their losses in future and setting them off against future profits. Now this is a big advantage for the bidders, for the investors and for the com financial institutions who are coming in. Another important change relates to the applicability of minimum alternative tax. In a situation where a company is undergoing bankruptcy and gets waiver of loan in the resolution process, it has to credit the waiver in the profit and loss account as income. And that would mean incidence of minimum alternative tax on that amount which is shown in the profit and loss account. Now this consequence of having to pay tax on a company which is completely distressed is not desirable at all. So under the new proposal to address this particular lacuna on the law, the proposal says that in a situation where there's a credit of income or account of waiver of loan, the company can set off this income against brought forward unabsorbed depreciation and unabsorbed losses. I think the government has done a commendable job by bringing about several changes in the income tax law in order to align the income tax law with the requirements of the bankruptcy and the insolvency code. At the same time, there are some issues which really stand out and clearly need to be removed and have not been done under the budget.